Hi guys, Vincent here and this is the Artillery Bayonet 7198. <music> Welcome back to the third and last video about this family of bayonets. Let's talk about how an old blade design who fought in the Prussian wars of the 1860s and 1870s found its way into the Great War. The Artillerie Seitengewehr 7198 or Artillery Bayonet 7198 is a sword style bayonet with a pipe back blade design featuring a metal hilt together with two screwed on wood grip pieces. It features the Mauser 98 single connecting point mounting mechanism. The scabbard is made from leather with brass fittings. The overall length is 640 mm. The blade itself is 505 mm long, 31 mm wide and near the hilt the blade is roughly 9 mm thick. Without the scabbard the bayonet itself weighs around 570 grams. Now, in the second video we saw how a bayonet initially designed for the fusiliers got transformed into a bayonet for the heavy artillery, the foot artillery. These guys carried the artillery bayonet 1871 until they got their new carbine 98s issued to them in late 1909. The bayonet to go alongside this new carbine was the S9805 old pattern without a sawback. The now free Gewehr 91s and artillery bayonets 1871s were then given to the Landwehr foot artillery units. In late 1913 it was decided to upgrade the artillery bayonet 1871s once again to make the Landwehr foot artillery regiments ready to receive their Mauser 98 carbines. But this time they couldn't get away with only minor changes to the muzzle ring. The whole handle needed to change. The bayonets were disassembled and the blades were then married with a strengthened bayonet 98 new pattern style of hilt. Since the blade remained untouched, the old scabbards could still be used without any changes. This whole process started in April 1914, so just before the war was declared in July of 1914. And this information is important because it shows that this bayonet was not a wartime Aushilfseitengewehr, or sometimes called Ersatzbayonets, but rather a real regulation pattern bayonet. But this newly built artillery bayonet 7198 never made its way to the Landwehr foot artillery units. Due to the massive shortages of modern rifles and bayonets in the early years of the war, 1914 and 1915, most of these bayonets were sent to the frontline troops. It is not uncommon to find wartime unit markings on these artillery bayonets from infantry units or find original pictures from that era with infantry units showing to wear those original artillery bayonets. The artillery bayonet 7198, a former bayonet designed for light infantry in the Royal Prussian era, served throughout the whole First World War with all of its loss of life and material. And this explains why they are so hard to find today. Now, when it comes to the stems and markings, keep in mind that this blade started its life as a Prussian Fusilier Bayonet 1860. The manufacturer of this blade was Klemen and Jung in Solingen. The G stands for Gussstahl or Crucible Steel, the material the blade was made out of. The new Imperial Era proof marks on the hilt are located on the typical place for the Mauser 98 style bayonets, but I can't read them anymore. The original Fusilier Bayonet 1860 became state property in 1863 and then the blade stayed in service until the end of the First World War. Really quite a long journey if you think about it. And during this time no other property marking was needed since the original Royal Prussian markings were still valid. Now as mentioned before these artillery bayonets 7198 never made it to the Landwehr foot artillery units they were originally designed for. 
so they don't feature any regular unit marking. The scabbard, however, mostly show the unit markings from their lives as artillery bayonets 1871s, where they served with a regular foot artillery regiment. And this is where our little video series ends. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos about a fascinating family of bayonets that served the Prussian and later Imperial German army for nearly 60 years. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below or send me an email. And this leaves me with nothing else to say, but I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.